<laughs> Sorry. Good morning. Um, yep, 8.30 in the morning. Um, so we're going... Oh gosh, I'll start over. Good morning guys. It is quite the misty morning out here. Um, it's about 8.30 in the morning and 6 chilly degrees. <laughs> um, the plan for today, yesterday I left like the Western Islands and today I'll explore that little half island, a little knob right south of the Western Islands. Um, so yeah, that should take me most of the day I think. Um, before that, I think there's a gas station here somewhere <laughs> up on the mist uh, road to it because you really can't really see more than 10 15 meters ahead of you there. Anyway, that is the plan for today. Thank you for watching and uh, please stay tuned to see what we will be up to today. that you can't see anything if like you miss it out on all of you oh it's supposed to be very humpy bumpy can't see shit also there's there's like just there's no place to stop you know to wait it out um, even I, I stopped to fill out fill up my um, my gas tank but just like there's no gas station or anything you know it's just a pump um, and a grocery store that hadn't opened yet Yeah, it's like either you just gotta stand by the side of the road and wait, or you just gotta ride a little bit and see what's see what's coming. Sun is up there. Just waiting. There's a cafe or something where I can heat up, uh, grab a coffee. Oh, look at these mountains! <gasps> oh, that is beautiful. Oh, sun! Hello! Hello! You have been missed. <laughs> Here. Could that be right? I mean, I guess so.
But I'm bad, I think as long as it's on. Yeah. That's really cool. Wow. So that was pretty cool. Turns out there's a, a biker running this cafe. His name is uh, John and he's from uh, Colombia. And we actually saw each other yesterday uh, when I was having a burger a little bit further up north. Um, he was actually there on his KDM 990. So uh, yeah, totally a coincidence that I happened to stop by his uh, little cafe here today. So if you're, uh, if you're nearby this area ever, make sure to stop by and, and say hello. Um, coffee is definitely worth the stop. It was absolutely delicious. He imports his beans from Colombia, um, where he's from actually, and roast them himself inside there. Really cool little place. So if you're in the area, make sure to uh, check it out. And uh, yeah, even the sun is back now. So I think it's time to get going again. What a really cool encounter that was. I love meeting people like that. Um, he also gave me some good advice on what to do when I get to Reykjavik tomorrow. I, uh, I think I spoke a little bit too early saying that the fog was was gone because I think there's quite a bit still <laughs> hanging in the mountains at least. It's already one o'clock and I had quite a bit of a distance to ride today to get close to Reykjavik so I know already it's gonna be a, a late, late evening. I need to stop and take off of there. It's getting warm out here. So I'm back at cruising on the road number one, the green road, direction Reykjavik. interesting so far but I have a detour plan. Um, there's one place where a fjord where there's a tunnel going like underneath it to cross it. Um, but Jan from the coffee shop today said that it was a really nice detour to actually ride on the inside of the fjord on the old road so that's what I'm gonna do 
go in that. It's probably where I'll find some of the camp as well. So today is already 4.30. This day has flown by. Even though I thought I got out pretty early at 6.45, but still the hours just fly by. It's, it's a pity. Especially on um, a place like this when the sun actually came out to say hello. So I actually managed to, to find a detour without a map and everything. Uh, it's going to Valfjordur. So yeah, let's see what Valfjordur has to offer, shall we? So I have located a campsite and it's about 15 minutes away from here. Please park on my right, please don't park on my oh, fuck off. There we go. <sighs> what a day this turned out to be. Started pretty nasty, finishing super smooth. of a place to put up the tent. Looks like there's only one other family here so far, so that's nice that it's not so crowded. There they are. We'll definitely take this spot up here. It's perfect.
All right, time to take a look at the map before we call it a call it a day. All right, so this is where I slept last night, uh, just at the southern point of the Western Islands. Um, today I've been doing this little half island right here. Um, I ended up skipping it short over here because I thought I didn't have enough time to do the whole part. Uh, I was wrong. I should have done the whole part, but you know. Shit happens. Um, super beautiful ride. This part was all foggy and then as soon as I crossed here, that's when I got the sun. Uh, Roll over down here and then I took the detour in here. Um, and this is where I'm camping tonight, number nine. Reykjavik is right here, um, which is my destination for the weekend because tomorrow my boyfriend is arriving and we're going to spend the um, evening. <sighs> Sorry, my brain is the weekend, spend the weekend together um, in Reykjavik just doing the you know, touristy couple stuff um, so tomorrow I'll just roam around um, somewhere in this area, see if I can find something good to see, it's only 4 to 5 minutes into Reykjavik I, I hear, in Norway we say Reykjavik, but in Iceland they say like Reykjavik I have no idea what's correct, so I, I think I'm just mixing them up a little bit uh, anyway, I think I want to go like in this area perhaps, but um, we'll see. The weather is not supposed to be terrific, so I'll, I'll just see. Maybe I'll just end up at a cafe or something, just chilling um, and waiting. Anyway, um, yeah, we get this weekend it's supposed to rain a shit ton, so I'm pretty happy that I'll be spending the nights in hotel instead of in my tent. Um, although it served me well, I've I've never been wet once in this in this uh, in this tent. All right, uh, what else is there to say? Hmm. I don't know. When I after this weekend, so on Sunday morning, actually, I start to ride all the way back from Reykjavik, Reykjavik, whatever. Uh, and then I have to be back here, up here, for when my boat leave on uh, Sunday. So that's quite a stretch to cover in four days. It's going to be a lot of uh, riding. I know there's like a lot of touristy stuff along the way here, but I only have four days. But we're going to make the most out of it. Um, Follow the ring road mostly and then do some detours probably. But yeah, um, it's crazy that if it feels like um, the trip is coming to an end, although I'm only halfway, like I literally have a whole week and um, a whole, um, yeah, a whole week to go actually. So yeah, <sighs> I left my tent open for a little bit too long and now my tent is full of the stupid little flies. <sighs> Whatever. Check out the rest of this beautiful sunset. I'm gonna enjoy it. Um, yeah, a little bit of snacks, and uh, then I'll call it a day. It's about nine o'clock in the evening. Um, yeah, I'll get up early tomorrow to spend some days just roaming and exploring a little uh -huh. bit. Anyway, enough with the jib jab. Thank you for watching this episode, uh, and I hope I'll see you again tomorrow. Good night.